let us discuss how to draw polygons by using general method here polygon means as we know it has if it has four sides it is square if it has five sides pentagon if it has six sides hexagon like that okay here we in engineering drawing we are using regular polygons regular polygon means all sides has equal length and the angle is also same at all corners okay for building regular polygon initially we have to take side length okay if it is not given you can take any length here i am taking 4 cm or 40 mm first i will build one square okay first draw the line so take 4 cm length first mark the end points okay join those end points mark end points a and b okay after that do one perpendicular line at a okay perpendicular means 90 degrees line so the adjacent side of the polygon okay it is also 4 cm so i am marking uh, like anti clockwise alphabets a b c should come here this point i am marking d point okay and this end point as d okay so we built two adjacent side of the square after the marking d here i am making this into two equal halves means i will bisect this ab so how to bisect ab by using compass take more than half of ab just do an arc here this side and uh, with the A center same do another arc this side take the same radius B as center cut this arc and here also cut this arc here the intersection points are this point this point let us take this is some P point and this is Q point join P and Q you will get one perpendicular bisector line okay. do in like color the entire diagram should be with pencil only in the drawing hall as well as in the exam for visibility i am doing with sketch pens okay so after getting perpendicular bisector what you have to do next step join b and d join b and d whatever intersection point is coming here take that point is 4 i will tell we are getting 4 5 6 7 points on this perpendicular bisector if you are taking 4 as center 4 as radius we are getting one circle in it we can construct four sides that is square we can construct okay so after getting four we need to mark five also for getting five take compass a b as radius okay that is four centimeter okay just do an arc here wherever intersection point of this arc and perpendicular bisector is coming take that is six we are getting sixth point we need to divide 4 and 6 gap into two parts means middle point we have to get the middle point is fifth one 5 okay so for dividing into two parts take more than half of the 6 4 distance 6 as center just do an arc like this and uh, at both sides of 4 6 okay take the same radius 4 as center so divide this previous arcs cut the previous arcs we will get intersection points here one point here one point join those two points you will get middle point here okay if you joining this you will get the middle point that is the fifth point this point is five we got four five six okay and how to mark seven whatever four five distance same distance five six distance okay so similarly six seven distance so this is the seventh one seventh point intersection point and similarly same distance i am marking here 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 8 like that okay so i am marking this point is eighth point okay here these are the centers so for building square take 4 as center for building pentagon take 5 as center like that these are the sides of the polygons number of sides so 4 as center 4a as radius see here this is a 4a okay build one circle already we have two point, two lines two adjacent lines we have we need to mark c okay. as we know side length is four centimeter already we have marked here four so similarly b as center just do an arc this point is c okay. join b c and c d this point b c and c d So A, B, C, D is a square with 4 as center. 
check all the lengths are 4 cm or not by using this method ok this is 4 cm and we, need, we have to check this one also this is 4 cm ok rotating square take phi as center ok phi a as radius do another circle complete the circle which is passing through ab because ab is one of the side of the polygon whatever ab length is there that is 4 cm and the new circle just divide this circle into 5 equal parts this is one point this is a b this is c and here this is d from d divide e this point is okay. now join a b already we have joined b c c d d e e a we will get the pentagon join b c join c d join d e join e a B, C, D, E is the pentagon. Just check whether all the sides has equal length or not. This is 4. And uh, this one is also 4. And this one 4. And this is also 4. Getting pentagon. Take 6 as center. We are using compass. Okay. 6A as radius. Just do another circle. Complete the circle. Okay. And divide this circle into 6 parts. As I told AB is one of the side of the hexagon. Similarly, B as center. Here you can get some C point. D point. E point. E as center. Get F point. So join all the points. getting hexagon check all the sides whether those are 4 cm or not similarly 7 as center 7a as radius again we can build one circle we can divide this into 7 parts that is uh, hectagon so 8 as center 8a as radius we can build octagon like that uh, we can build the center uh, centers on the middle line by sector line we can construct any polygon this method remember one thing whatever 4 5 distance is there it is equal to 5 6 it is equal to 6 7 so same thing i have written here the distance between 4 and 5 is equal to 5, 6 is equal to 6, 7 and so on. Okay, where 4, 5, 6, 7 are, are the centers for the circles. In it we can build square, 4 as center, 5 as center, pentagon, 6 as center, hexagon like that.